on everybody welcome to my channel for today um we are going to do a refresh i am gearing up for the next four months of the year the last four months of 2024 so i am feeling and getting at a place and i've done some goal setting i've done a full refresh plan for me um to help me really refocus for 2024. I've talked to you guys before. I do, <clears throat> I can get high anxiety. I can be very anxious. I can have all these kind of things going on. And I think what I'm starting to do is, and when I built my refresh plan is to let's look at small wins and small victories um, while we're working towards the big goal. For me, like my home, if it's in chaos is a huge thing for me. Like when I start to collect a lot of stuff. That's when I start finding myself becoming anxious. So for example, we are gonna focus on the kids' rooms just for today. We're gonna declutter and clean. We're gonna donate the clothes that we're gonna get rid of um, and the toys, the toys we're gonna donate. I don't have a problem with my kids having any, pretty much whatever they want for the most part. But the issue is this, they just have a lot of things and they have a lot of stuff they don't touch. So we're gonna go through all of that and clean that up. Um, we also, I'm going to show you, it's nothing, nothing extravagant, but um, our son starts pre-K. He's in school, hard to believe he's in school. So I'm putting together a quick little thing for um, his teacher. So just something super simple. Please be patient with me with that kind of stuff. I'm not creative, but I wanted to give her a couple of little things. I've got all of that. So I'm going to put that together for her. So again, the, the point is this, I'm decluttering small spaces at a time, the rooms that give me the most, the most anxiety. Um, but you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna help me. You're gonna help me get, get rid of some things and completely start refreshing as we go into the last four months of the year. So if that's something you wanna see, then just stay with me. So this is the state of my daughter's room. Hence my anxiety. <laughs> So again, nothing at all extravagant with this. She has asked for a few things. So like um, Kleenexes, hand soap, um, some gallon storage bags, sandwich bags, so I've gotten her that. But what I have done is I found this at Target. It was $5, just a cute little cherry cup. We've gotten her a Dunkin' Donuts card. I don't know if she likes Dunkin', that's the hope. And then I did see this um, at Target as well. This teacher has a little apple on it. Um, so we're going to give her that as well. I'm going to put all that in this coffee cup. Take off the price tag, right? Don't you think? I can't believe I found this because I'm so late to the game. We didn't find out till the other day, like he was going to pre-K, like this past week and school starts next week. So I did find this the first day of you fill it out. Um, and then it even has the last day. So completely reusable. We'll be doing that. Let's get to, let's order the food and let's clean before the food gets here. Update. 
her room is done. I cleaned it. What I have is three bags of donations. Um, two, two clothes. I don't like filling them like super heavy. So two which are clothes. Um, one which is toys. So I'll find a donation bin to take them to sometime um, this upcoming week. Or I could um, just have Green Dark come pick them up. Um, because you gotta leave the bags. So it, leave the bags in the house. I've moved on to my son's room to do the exact same thing. So clean out the drawers, clean out the closet right there. I'm doing, releaking his bed. Then we'll hit, he doesn't, this is his area. And we have a hamster, of course. But this is his area. There's this. I don't know what to do with this yet. If we're gonna if I'm put this upstairs, I might. But this is the bin that's like the, the biggest problem. So we're gonna move on and move into here and get this all cleaned up. I know it looks crazy when I just throw everything on the floor, but it's almost like wiping the slate clean. Just get it all out and then I can sort it and separate it and take care of it. So in the meantime, I did find our son's soccer socks, which we had last year and we couldn't find. They're so nice and neatly put on the other side. Did it it's done so she had three bags two bags of clothes and a bag of toys he has four bags his room is clean I moved their grocery stand in here finally um, because if they make a mess it's in his room and they can clean that up which is great <sighs> I filmed a lot uh, more but my phone started to die and I couldn't film too much at the end there of fixing up and finishing his room. So what I will say to you is this, like if you are struggling with anything like your home or organization or time management or whatever the case may be, if you're struggling with anything like that, you need to have a game plan. Okay. You can't just wing it. And that's what I had to do when I went back through and did like a refresh this past month. Relooking at my goals, relooking what have I what I've obtained because I'm gonna be honest with you, I get to summer and it's a lull. I don't like the heat, I don't like to be hot, I'm a cold weather gal. So like I don't know if when summer hits, I'm just not wanting to do too much because of the heat again. I'm gonna do a series on how to refresh your life, um, gearing up for the last four months of the year. And like I said, I went and had to look at, okay, what do I need to work on? And I, I have big goals and I'm excited for those big goals. But I think as a as a perfectionist, um, I was trying to do so much at one time. And that if you can do that, that's great. If you have a business and you wanna do that, that's fine. And you can, people can do it. And I have done that. 
but it, I just was getting so overwhelmed and I couldn't figure out what was going on and I was looking at my again like looking at my goals again to figure some stuff out and I was just like okay you need to to simplify what you want to do so like content creation like uh, again type a i need to have a plan i need to plan that out and then i need to just do it and stop trying to you know find excuses or i don't have this or that time my husband hap you know happily will watch the kids for two hours if i don't want them in the videos or if they're getting in the way sometimes they do sometimes they don't so that's that's an easy fix there are things you can do to accomplish things that you're just waiting and waiting, waiting, because you're using other things as an excuse. So I then started like scaling down, like, okay, what are my biggest issues right now? What, if I want to get my house cleaned up, what do I need to do to make that happen? And it was simplifying. So instead of decluttering the whole house in a day or decluttering the whole house in like a week, like, okay, this week, this weekend, I don't have anything planned. We're going to go ahead and we're going to clean up both kids' rooms. Maybe you can't handle that. Maybe you can only clean up a room. Maybe you can't even handle that. Maybe that stresses you out too much. Then clean out the closet. Like pick places that you can handle in small, small scale and then just do it and you feel better. I feel great. Feels like I have a sense of accomplishment. I've gotten something big done today. One of my top 10 goals for the day is getting that done. Second goal was to film it. So I've accomplished two goals already, and now I'm going to go drink tons, tons, tons of water and get hydrated because I didn't do that. But yeah, like if you're looking and wanting to clean up your space, clean up your life, start small. And I'll cover some of that, of what I've done in the refresh series, because it's simple things. It's simple things that you can do. Hope you guys liked just checking this out and I look forward to several more videos here shortly. Like I said, I've got my calendar now, I've got a plan, I've got a goal, and I just wanna share a whole lot of things with you, things that I'm doing to help push myself the last four months of 2024. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.